this mess. Five candles, big deal. Everybody line up for cake, you ready? Okay. No pushing, no pushing. Oh, Miss Pamela, you're a guest. You don't have to help. Although, I don't know what I would have done if you hadn't gotten that gum out of Becky's hair. Oh, don't worry. When you teach preschool, you learn to get the gum out of anything. Oh. I'm just sorry I couldn't stop her from putting it back in her mouth. Hey, that's my okay. I can't believe we have four graduations coming up. Kip and Oliver's, and Kelly's and mine. I know what you mean. There are three in my family. You want some punch? Three? Yeah, Bomber from eighth grade, Freddie from high school, and me from bartending school. You're gonna be a bartender? No, Eddie felt it was time we shared a common interest. There she is. And she's the one that's been calling me and hanging up. Be careful, Gregory. Piece of cake? Well, I can be if you play your cards right. Thanks. Uh, I'm Edward Haskell. Who might you be? Oh, I'm Pamela Derry, Kevin's teacher. Well, how would the teacher like to learn from the master? <laughs> I'm Clarence Rutherford. Oh, a pleasure. Well, it was uh, nice meeting you. Uh, hey, Teach, where are you going? This is the high rent district. I've got to go help Mrs. Cleaver with the cake. Oh, that type. <laughs> Hey, look at the rhinoceros. <laughs> so, Kelly, eighth grade valedictorian, huh? Yeah, I get to make a speech and everything. And make a tape of it. It might be a great advancement in the treatment of sleep disorders. Very funny. Does this smell strange to you? <laughs> who, who, who wants yours? Who wants yours? Me! Punch. Punch. Okay, not bad. I can't believe we're finally getting out after eight years in the Grant Avenue Penitentiary. Yeah, the joy of that momentous day is still firmly etched in my mind. I let three gopher snakes in the girls' chorus while they sang, We've Only Just Begun. <laughs> Ooh, gopher snakes. I'm surprised they didn't recruit you to assassinate Castro. What, are you saying you could disrupt a graduation better than I could? We'll see. Well, don't have any chocolate ice cream. We had chocolate cake, huh? <laughs> Funsters, it's party time with me! Nice opening, Beeb. But you're off the hook. Mark with the magician just showed. Can't you tell him to disappear? I spent 40 minutes putting on this outfit. Uh, where are the paper towels? We had a little accident. Oh, which kid? Uh, Mr. Rutherford. I'll take care of it. Oh, Pamela, this is my brother, Theodore. Oh, the beaver! You've heard of me? <laughs> yes. Kevin says when you play games with him, you always let him win. Unlike his father. Yeah, Wally never let me win either. <laughs> uh, so, uh, do you wear that outfit a lot? Oh, well, uh, every once in a while I entertain at the children's hospital. Or when I take a client out to dinner. <laughs> Honey, look at 
Look at that. <laughs> yeah, the bee was pretty stupid, huh? No, no. He and Miss Pamela. I knew they'd like each other. Come on, honey. They're just talking. Oh, he really likes her. Well, how can you tell? Oh. <laughs> oh, honey, I think she's just what he needs. She's sweet, intelligent. She loves kids. Well, then she should love the beef. Thanks. I had a really great time. I'm glad. A lot of women don't like go-kart racing. <laughs> I'm sorry I ran you off the road. Some people say helmets aren't important. <laughs> well, good night. Good night. I, uh, guess I better get going. I mean, it's a school night for you. Not for me. I graduated a long time ago. <laughs> Look, not that long ago. I'll call you. Aren't you gonna try and kiss me goodnight? Well, I never know whether I should try on the first date or not. I mean, if I don't, then you might think I don't like you. But if I do and you didn't want me to, I'd really feel like a jerk. And... Can I come in? Not yet. I couldn't have been happier those first few months. Aren't you through yet? Almost, my little peach pit. Well, you better get moving, because you still have to sweep the chimney, clean out the attic, and take me out to a very expensive restaurant. Kurt, have you even considered the possibility that your mother merely misplaced her Social Security check? Not for a millisecond. But sweetness, the busy spells are coming back. Fine, you sit there and rest, and I'll call the police. Hey, short stuff. How goes the beef's hunt for a new mate? Huh? Miss Pamela, the teacher that settled for your dad when she found out I was unavailable. Oh, her. She's all right. I don't know a shrink in the country that would say she's all right after four months with the beavers. <laughs> How come you're always making fun of my dad? How much time you got? <laughs> hey, guys. Want to watch me launch my rocket? Can't. We're grounded. Even though we testified against our father, we weren't granted immunity. How about tomorrow? I can't. My dad and his girlfriend are taking me to the zoo. It's starting already. Worse than we thought. What do you mean? How thick are you? It's as plain as a zit on your face. Yeah, your dad's getting ready to close the deal. He wants to make sure you like her so you won't make a stink. Why would I want to make a stink? Yeah, once they're married, your dad won't have time for you. Kip will be going away to college, and you'll be all alone. Until they have a baby. Of course, then you'll lose your room. No, my dad's not like that. No, but she is. And this Pamela Dame will be nice for a while. She'll give you presents and kiss you on the cheek. But as soon as your old man slips a ring on her finger, he'll ship you off to military school and put your grandmother in a home. You know, Oliver, you played a great game. But I've told you before, I'm your coach. Don't ever run through my stop sign. But that I was safe, and we won. That's not the point. You made me look bad. Hey, look, there's Pamela. She changed her hair. Doesn't she look great? Well, hi. Hi. How are you doing? Hi, Oliver. How was the game? Great. We won six to five. Oh. Um, Daddy, can I go play a video game? Yeah, sure. I need some money. No, thanks. Dad, can I have some quarters? Uh, yeah. Thanks. I'm sorry. He's usually not like that when we win. Oh, I understand. All of a sudden, there's someone else in your life. He'll come around. I sure hope so. Listen, I was shopping today, and I saw something I think he'll like. Mind if I give it to him now? Kind of an early graduation present. Of course not. What'd you get for me? <laughs> well, that's not too bad. <laughs> uh, the machine's busted. It took me three quarters to figure it out. 
Well, maybe this will cheer you up. Happy graduation, Oliver. Oh, great. <laughs> Oh, a shirt. And a white one. <laughs> what do you say? Thanks. Well, I think I'm gonna go see if that jukebox is working. <sighs> I guess I should have gotten him the BB gun. Follow her. Oliver, where do you think you're going? Kelly's. No, we're going to the den and discuss the way you've been conducting yourself. What? Pamela went out of her way to get you this present. I thanked her. It was the way you thanked her. Dad, give me a break. It's a shirt, not a BB gun. What's the big deal anyways? She's very important to me. So what's that supposed to mean? It means exactly what it sounds like. Look, just because you may like her, it doesn't mean I have to. Oliver. Hey, Ollie, what'd you do with your extra ticket for graduation? I don't know. Well, you better find it. Someone else needs to use it. <gasps> Mom? Hi, Ollie. I can't believe you're here. I'm here. Oh, would I miss my son's graduation, huh? <laughs> Look at you. Jim, what on earth have you been feeding him? Everything the beaver doesn't grab first. <laughs> Hi, beaver. Kimberly. It's good to see you. It's good to see you, too. Boy, Mom, I'm glad you're here. In Family Matters. I finally saved up enough. Just when Steve thought it was safe to go into the bank. But I don't know how to play poker. Sit down. He gets caught up in a not-so-friendly card game. Oh, 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 oh. Here's where raw animal cunning and a poker face are a jerk's best friend. Wow, now we are the There's only one thing that can stop him grabbing the loot. Well, it's just you and me, nerd. The Joker is wild when Toyota presents Family Matters 7.30 tonight, followed by Acropolis Now. Would you like a drink? Could I have a glass of herbal tea? Thanks, Mum. Could I have a glass of herbal tea? Thanks, Mum. Could I have a spoon to the best bit of the top? Could I have a glass of herbal tea? Thanks, Mum. Herbal <laughs> tea. It's where herbal teams get their strength. Neil Diamond's greatest hits, 1966 to 1992. The ultimate Neil Diamond collection. Neil Diamond's 37 greatest songs and a 48-page booklet at the incredible low price of only $29.95 double CD and $22.95 double cassette. At this price, you won't find a better Neil Diamond collection. Plus, check out the music video, Greatest Hits Live. Just move Kelly's science project. <laughs> so, do you think Kimberly's gonna move back from Italy? Well, she's looking for a place to open a veterinary practice. She says that she wants to be closer to her family. 
Well, isn't it a little late for that? The boys are almost grown. And what about that Count Rossini she was engaged to? Talking about Aunt Kimberly? Go on. Was she really going out with a Count? Don't you have a speech to prepare for? I already typed it. Uh, proof it. I did. Memorize it. I never get to hear the juicy stuff. Mary Ellen, maybe we're getting a little ahead of ourselves. Kimberly is here now, and we should try to be nice to her for the boy's sake. No, oh, I suppose you're right. But it just galls me that after five years and all that Italian food, look at that figure. <laughs> Kimberly, this is Pamela. Pamela, this is Kimberly. So you're Theodore's ex-wife? Yes, I am. And you're Beaver's... Uh, yes, I am. <laughs> we must face the hypnotic spell of apathy eye to eye and overpower it. There are some who say we Americans have lost our greatness, that our country is inexorably sliding downhill. That because of our innate selfishness, we no longer are willing to make the sacrifices necessary to keep this Strike! That was at his ankles! Are you blind? As individuals, we can make a difference. Thank you very much. Very good, Sally. Congratulations. Michael Clark. Congratulations, Michael. Kelly Cleaver. Congratulations. Oliver, Oliver Cleaver. Cleaver. You made it. Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> George, George Dean. Dean. Very, Very good, good George. George. Come on up here. Carol Derrick. What, what, what is this? What's what this? <laughs> So it's off to college, eh, Kemp? Yep. Say, did I ever tell you about my college days? If I said yes, would you believe me? Oh, it was unbelievable. A 60-page paper, a 12-page report, hours and tons of homework every night. Oh, how'd you get through it? Yeah, I didn't. I dropped out and went to work for my father. <laughs> Oliver! Come on, hurry up. We want to get these pictures taken before everybody gets here. How come you're not wearing the shirt that Pamela gave you? Beaver, don't you like the shirt I got him? <laughs> I get it. <clears throat> oh, hi, Pamela. Hi, come kid. on. Ooh, crispy treats. I love those. Oh, help yourself. Thanks. So, how's the graduate feeling? Looking forward to being a college man? Mm, absolutely. I mean, college is the best time of your life, right? Well, actually, I remember 60-page papers and 20-page papers and hours of homework. Yeah, senior year. No, first week. Hi, Pamela. Hi. Come on, Kip. Let's go get some pictures of the family. Oh, excuse me. Why did you go upstairs and play in the boys' room? I tried. There's a bunch of guys up there kissing girls. <laughs> so, what's a good hunk of meat cost in Italy? Let's dance. So, what do you give it? Two, three more weeks? What? 
A beaver and his little friend. Little friend? He really likes her. Oh, come on. What could they possibly have in common? Hey, Kimberly, lay off the beaver. You left him in a tough spot. He's done a hell of a job raising those two boys, so don't rock the boat. And for God's sakes, let me lead. <laughs> realize that this is our four-month anniversary. Do you mean it's been four months since you picked up that clown at Kevin's party? Oh, stop. Mom, it's late. Where are you going? To the Pi Fi house. My graduation party's just starting. <laughs> Don't wait up. Now, where were we? Come on, boys. Great party. Yeah, great party. I cleaned the bathroom as best I could. Boy, Eddie sure hasn't changed. <laughs> Pretty pathetic, isn't it? Beaver, you know, I've been meaning to tell you, you've really done a great job with the boys. Well, it was a lot of work, but well worth it. Well, I think you should be very proud of yourself. Well, you should, too. I mean, studying veterinary medicine in a foreign country and... Gee, I had trouble just learning stuff in English. Yeah, well, you know, coming home to an empty apartment at the end of 12 hours kind of makes you lonely. Tell me about it. Did, did I tell you that uh, Oliver's baseball team won its last two games? No, you didn't. That's great. Does he still run through your signs? Every time. Well, that's our Ollie. Beaver, our wedding album. I can't believe you didn't throw this away. I thought about it, but then I remembered how much the photographer charged. I haven't seen this in years. Look! Oh. There's Eddie making devil's horns behind the minister's head. Oh, my <laughs> sideburns really that long. Yes. Oh, boy, we look so young. We were. Everything was so wonderful then. It was so perfect. Beaver, I always thought we'd be together forever. So did I. <sighs> I'm sorry. Kimberly, don't. <laughs> Beaver. This week on Saturday Disney, it's our Let's Get Fit show. Sounds worse than a bulldozer in a china shop. The crew are working out at the gym. That's right. Saturday on 7. Introducing Beethoven, the movie star, who's cuddly and cute, but grows and grows and grows. Play the Beethoven game. Call 0055 and you could win a full-size Beethoven toy or one of ten toy puppies. Alors, c'est chouette, hein? Oui, c'est super. Tu n'es pas le blond? Tu t'en fous. J'adore le bleu. Et toi? Moi, j'aime beaucoup le vert. Regarde, mais j'ai! Je mets lequel? Selected French star, only $39.95. If you think you're catching a cold, use your lemon. A nice hot lim sip temporarily relieves a cold before it takes hold. Lim sip's real lemons come for the throat. <coughs> The paracetamol relieves the aches. Mmm. Mmm. Lim sips at your supermarket or pharmacy now. Use only as directed. If cold persists, see your doctor. <sighs> Lim sip a cold before it takes hold. My doctor just told me I'm a perfect candidate for heart attack, which kills one in four Australians. He showed me important new medical research. So I've given up the smokes. I've started exercising every day. I've lost weight. My cholesterol's down. 
New medical evidence proves a healthy lifestyle helps stop the artery blocking process that causes heart disease. Ryan just won't give up. Somebody's really important to you. You've just got to keep on trying. Is Lou secretly attracted to him? Surely you could be friendly with Ryan without encouraging him. And brawling. Well, it's obviously the only way I'm going to get you to take the stupid money, isn't it? Yeah, man, well, I still don't want it. Over a bet. Not like you to knock back money, Blake. Nintendo presents Home and Away tonight. Monday. I thought I had all the time in the world. Lives in the balance. Something beat me. Alone, lost and afraid. A country practice on Seven. Next episode of the new Leave it to Beaver. Kimberly, uh, you remember Pamela? Pamela Kimberly? Kimberly Pamela? Of course. Kevin's teacher. My dad's getting married. That's great! Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, guys, how's it going? Congratulations! You guys really got me. I never expected a bachelor party. Hey, we never expected you to get married again! <laughs> Agro's Cartoon Connection is next on 7. And there's a fantastic afternoon lineup starting today at 3.30 with everyone's favourite Get Smart. At 4, that little furball Alf causes havoc in the Tanner household. Then it's time for Now You See It. A great lineup today here on 7.